Julius now, posting up on Pressy, turns around underneath. So Irving is into the offensive flow, and it's a steal by Bobby Jones, one of the better defensive players. Cheeks spins inside. What a play by Maurice Cheeks. Cummings. Right now, we're watching a Milwaukee team that has a, so much more patience than they did in game six in Philadelphia. They were taking the quick shots, and Philadelphia was able to get that rebound and get out and run. Here's the isolation again. Johnson. The Bucks up by six. They were down by four. Bobby Jones misfiring. An offensive rebound, and Clement Johnson. Mokeski giving it up on the drive through the lane. Bobby Jones smelling that pass, just stepped in there and showing you why he's always been a standout defensive player. I think the Sixers look a little tired, Billy. Look a little tired right now. They haven't gone to Sedale Creed, who has been hot. Barkley has it knocked away, but it wound up in Julius's hands, and he can't score. Hodges, pressure at the offensive end by Milwaukee, and Cummings feeling it, missing that shot. Barkley's outlet intended for Bobby Jones. He's got it, and Cummings with him, but Maurice Cheeks follows him up. Now, Milwaukee worked out briefly yesterday, and the Sixers were given the whole day off to try and rest up after their fine performance in Game 6 back in the Spectrum. Cummings got Jones in the air. A three-point opportunity, and Terry Cummings is the main man against Jones and the 76ers here this afternoon. Well, Milwaukee was going to their trap after the foul shot. Found the open man, and Doc hit the shot. The reason for the success of that last play was Sidney Moncrief's cutting off Terry Cummings, allowing that good position inside. Moncrief penetrating that time. Barkley yanking the miss off. Bobby Jones on the breakout. Oh, he's fouled. He's all right. Oh, he went down so hard in behind the basket support. Manny Gukas running out onto the floor quickly. Here's that outlet pass. Bobby going strong. Hodges going for the basketball and got too much of Bobby Jones. There's one thing for sure. Hodges would never try to hurt Bobby Jones. That's not his style of play. Well, it was a great bust out by Jones. Here he is and a blue from behind. The crowd is booing Matty Gukas, who was out on the floor, but obviously he wanted to see if Jones was all right, and we've got a technical assessed against that personal foul. Yep. That's the breakaway rule, Brent, where the official's eyes, the player had no chance to stop the, the basket, and this rule comes up from a few years ago with the Boston L.A. series when we saw bodies flying into the, to the support underneath the basket, and it, the reason for it is to make sure players do not get hurt. Now we see they're looking to post up Bobby Jones against Mike Billy, this is not Philadelphia's game. In the first place, Clement Johnson carried them in the first half, and now Sedale Threat is carrying them. They can't get their big guns to step to the top here so far. Nelson's defense has really dictated what's happening. Look at that play. Pressy coming over on the block. McAdoo gets it back. That's Korea Hyde. Great game by Sedell. Pressy hits Hodges, and Jones hammered him, but Hodges was all alone. Two things. Cheeks is coming from the weak side to double. Bobby Jones and Charles Barkley did not rotate well on the weak side. Hodges read that so well and found that open lane. Seven in the game, deep to three. It's the doctor. Not good. The ghost has been exercised. Milwaukee has finally beaten Philadelphia.